Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker today is no stranger to us. He hails from Southern California. He's got a beautiful daughter. And he's also one of the recipients of the contest that I did, the one with most points. I'm, I'm flying him down to the international. He stepped up to the plate as a leader would and won that contest. So he hails the San Diego, California. He has a large organization, not just in San Diego, but spreads over to other states and countries. Without further ado, regional director from San Diego, California, the great Mr. Julian Lewis. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, it's great to see your face this morning, looking dapper, looking, I see the V-neck under there, I like that, I like that, that's a, that's a, that's a great color, by the way, um, I, I see the pockets, I, I, I love it, I love it, and, and with everyone else, I, I just want to say, uh, welcome out, before I get started, I just want to uh, show my appreciation for, for Mr. Thomas, you know, um, we know him as a, as a leader, as an SVP, as a Circle of Champions member, several times, uh, back to back each year, uh, being, uh, being, actually in in magazines successful magazines like success from home back to back to back and and all those things sometimes you you miss the person because of the uh all of the accolades and what i love about mr thomas is despite all the accolades despite all the success he's down to earth he's someone that's easy to talk to and he's able to share information in a way that you can receive it and you can run with it um he has a heart of gold and you know the 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 thing that he said about my daughter and everything it's just Anytime I talk to him, he, he asks how she's doing and um, he, he really focuses in on what's important in life. So I appreciate you being a mentor, a friend, and just someone that I can call on, that I can count on um, and when I need to talk to you. So thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm excited to be a, a with you this morning. I just want to give you a background, a little bit on me. Um, if you've never heard from me and, and you're new, and this is the first time we're meeting, first of all, um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, again, my name is Julian, and prior to getting involved with this project, I was a senior systems engineer. I was working roughly 80 to 90 hours a week at my job, and I was averaging 50 to 60 flights a year, which put me in a situation where I really didn't have a lot of time for myself or my family. But good fortune came my way. I was introduced to this company uh, by my first mentor in this industry who shared with me a system that allowed me to replace my income at my job, working really hard here at this project, and it enabled me to come home to my family, which led to me being able to be a stay-at-home dad, which impacted my daughter's life in such a way. Currently, she's 16 years old. Uh, she started her senior year in high school, and I'm so excited and so proud of the person that she's become, and I know a big part of that is me being involved with ACN. And the reason why is because it led to personal development. And personal development, understanding what's important for me and being able to convey that to my family poured into her. And I, I tell you, every single time that I see and hear her talk, I'm blown away. I remember when she was a, a baby and I was holding her. And, you know, it, uh, all, all the parents on here, you understand what I'm about to say. I remember watching her look around and smile and, 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 and wonder and fascinated by everything around her. And all I could think of is how I couldn't wait until she was able to express her thoughts on what she was seeing and experiencing. And I'm excited to say that that's a day-to-day -day occurrence now. Being home with her every day as she grew up meant that I have a 16-year-old that will text me during, during class or in school because she wants to tell me something funny or she wants to share something with me. And the relationship that we have is definitely because I was able to be home. And I owe that to the training, the support, and the, and, and the people and the system that we have here in the company. So with that being said, what I want to do today, if you saw, uh, if you saw the, um, the flyer, we're talking about big picture. Um, this is a blueprint for big picture. And, and that's what we're going to be discussing this morning. And I really want to get everyone prepared because whether you are whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you are a, a founder with a company, whether you're an enterprise company and you're a CEO, or whether you're an ACN independent business owner, if you lack big picture vision, you won't be able to have the success that you want. And so a lot of people don't understand big picture vision. They see visionaries and they hear the vision of the person, the CEO, the leader, the SVP, 
the RD, but but they confuse what it is. Okay, so so they see the big picture, and so most people will say, well, all right, let me let me get a big picture mindset, and they have this big picture. I want to have this type of lifestyle. I want to live in this area, and then they get all excited about their big picture vision, and then they go to work, and here's what happens: they have no direction when they go to work because they didn't take the big picture and they didn't reverse engineer it to what their life has to look like every day in order to capture it. And so it, it means that if you, if you have a big picture without the details and you're not consistently detail oriented once you have the big details or once you have the big picture, you'll miss the mark every single time. And so because we have a, um, we have a special we have, we have something special that we can uh, chase down because of Mr. Thomas being gracious enough to be able to uh, uh, reward us with a, a vacation. Because uh, if you get a thousand points, you can, you can be one of those people that gets that vacation and you can be out of the country with one of the, one of the top earners of all time in network marketing and learn. I think it's really important today to actually address how to take a big picture, how to break it down, what to utilize to accelerate it, and how to hit the mark. So I hope that's going to help some of you. I hope you take it really seriously once we're done so that you can do something bigger than you've ever thought possible and bigger than you've done up until this point. So you guys ready for this? You guys ready? All right. So we know we have a, a, an opportunity. If we go out and get 1,000 points, to, to, to be able to accomplish a major goal. And in doing so, a lot of things can happen. There are gonna be R, RD promotions. There can potentially be some RVP promotions, definitely some RC promotions. So I wanna share with you, I can't share with you what every leader would do, but I'm pretty sure based on um, consistently being in certain categories in this company for years, being consistent as a President's Club member, being consistent in, in top production every single year, including in the pandemic, being consistent at generating income every single week and month, being consistent at earning residual income every single month for over a decade. These are, these are things that I've been consistent in. And when I have conversations with other consistent producers in ACN, they share the same sentiment. So I wanna share with you how we look at and what we think of when we take a look at trying to reach a goal of a thousand points. And this is gonna help you. So the first thing, if you're taking notes, you wanna write down big picture and then you wanna write down a thousand points. So that's the big goal, but how? How are we gonna do it? So you wanna write this down. How? You wanna write down Below that, you want to write down accelerate. You want to write below that, why? Below that, you want to write mission. And below that, you want to write action equals execute. So we're how, accelerate, why, mission, action, equals execute. Okay, so if you've never done anything like this, then what I'm giving you is, it can be considered like the secret behind why a leader can say, I'm gonna do X and they go out and crush it, okay? Now, first thing is the way we think. So there are several ways to get to a thousand points. And Mr. Thomas said, you can do it several different ways. Even in ACN, there are several different ways to promote to leadership positions. But I, I'm gonna give you a secret. So which way is better? Like if, if, if I would, if you were to ask my opinion, my opinion would be an educated answer based on what? I would give an educated response based on what's important in ACN? And how do I know what's important in ACN? It's based on the compensation plan. So at what level in ACN do they pay you the most? Do you, anyone put it in the chat? 
at what level in ACM do they pay you the most? Does anyone know? Anybody? Do you guys know? Nobody knows. You guys, are you guys stumped? There it is. No, it's not indefinite. It's SVP. It's SVP. I knew Mr. Thomas knew because when I said it, he, his face lit up. He's like, I'm there right now. That's why he's smiling, SVP. So if they pay you the most at SVP, then you have to dissect SVP. What does SVP look like? All right, this is gonna mess you up. This is gonna mess you up today. Because I just wanna be transparent. And any, everything that I'm saying is not a surprise if you look at the compensation plan. It's not a surprise. At SVP, in order to maintain SVP status, and they changed it, they actually increased it because it was smaller, because here's how I know. It, it used to be the same for, for, for RDs, uh, for RVPs and for TCs, which were not anymore, but RV, RVPs and RDs were the same. So, you need to have at least 15 points. You guys know that's the same qualifi uh, qualifications all, all across the board. So you need to, so an SVP, a Mr. Thomas needs to maintain a minimum of 15 personal points, okay? And he needs to have how many teams? Does anyone know? Does anyone, I know you know Mr. Thomas. Anybody else know? <laughs> yeah. All right. I love it. Six. Okay. You have six teams. What do those teams need to have in each team? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There it is. All right. And they changed that. They made it, they made that more simple. Okay. So all right, you guys are getting it. Now, do you know what the billing volume is? Does anyone know what the billing volume is? Monthly billing volume you need? Anyone know? There it is, 500K. All right, 500K. So you need a minimum of 500K, but I need you to understand something. It's that, it's that last one that I talked about. You need a certain amount of RVPs and a certain amount of RDs, right? And, and so here's what that means. You cannot become an SVP all by yourself, right? Can you get a thousand points all by yourself? Yes. Can you become an RC all by yourself? Yes. Can you become an RD all by yourself? If you just went, went beastly and got 3,000 points, could you do that all by yourself? Yes. But I need, to, uh, need you to understand something. If you focus on all by yourself, you will never get to senior vice president. Which means you'll never get to the position that earns you the most in ACN. So going back to what I was saying before, how leaders think is in terms of team production, because they realize that team production is gonna get them to senior vice president. So it's not about what I like to do or what I don't like to do. It's what I know is necessary to get to SVP. Are you guys getting this? Some people, when they come in, they love to get customers. That's beautiful. Some people love to introduce business partners. That's great too. But last time I checked, it's not about what you love to do, it's about what's necessary to reach the goal. Is this true? They don't, ACN doesn't penalize someone who just focuses on services. In fact, they reward them. You get customer bonuses, you get increased residual income personally, and that's all great. But the truth is you will never get to senior vice president. Are you guys getting this? So I want to dispel or I want to, I want to erase some of the delusion. 
Because I think sometimes we think we're going to get there just by getting points. And the truth is, it's not in the comp plan. So if, if you think that, then you'd have to be a little bit delusional. Do you understand? So if you look at how a, a, a leader looks at this thousand points, they see it the same way as SVP. So here's what a leader's doing. Look. A thousand points that breaks down to 34 ETLs, roughly it's three, 33 points something. So that, that breaks down to 34 ETLs. Now here's what's so awesome about that. If you help 34 people become ETL, just the payout alone to your organization would be $17,000. Why? Because each, if each one hit it in less than 30 days, that's 500 issued to each ETL. What's 500 times 34? You guys see where I'm, these are all real numbers for a real business. This is not magic. There's no fairy dust. This is real. So I want to break it down like a real business owner. So now I know I need 34 ETLs. And the exciting thing is if I accomplish it, That'll be 17,000 paid out to my, to my organization. Now, how, how am I gonna do this? Let's say I'm brand new today, 34 ETLs. I'm not in an e even an ETL yet. Well, the first goal for you is to get to ETL, get to ETL yesterday, okay, get that done. And let's say I wanna get this done and I wanna accelerate it. Well, what would be the best way for me to get to Get, if I'm brand new, how can I get 34 ETLs done in the next 30 to 60 days? How can I do that myself if I'm brand new? How can I accelerate that to make that happen faster if I wanna, I wanna be somewhere tropical outside of the country with Mr. Thomas? Does anyone know? It's something specific. Leaders know. I, I wanna see if anyone here knows. Like people who've actually done these numbers, they'll tell you what this is. When I share it with you, they'll say, yeah, that's it. But I need all of you to know it so that you can get the result like the leaders. N nope, it's not phase one. Nope, it's not business partners. Come on, come on. I want some more. I want some more. Don't be scared. I'm not going to do anything to you. This is a learning. Nope, it's not taprooting. Nope, it's not exposures. Um, promote kind of, but that's a little vague. Bonus, nope. Customers, nope. Nope. There it is. Someone said events, but it's more uh it's it's more specifics, not just events. That's really vague. Nope, it's not making a decision. Bob Myers on it today. I I, I know you what you were trying to spell. Yeah, it's the national. It's not even promoting events. It's not promoting events. It's something specific about the national. Okay, it's something very specific. And I'm glad you guys are sharing with me all your answers. Here's why. Because I know part of getting there is understanding how to get there. And what I'm learning from the answers, and it's okay, because we're gonna, no, no, oh, that's not it. That's none of that. We already, here, I'm gonna give it to you guys. So part of getting there is knowing the path to take to get there. And what I'm learning is most of you don't know the path based on your answers. We get so excited about these calls and all the great things these leaders are saying, but we don't know how to get there. Here's how you get there. It's very specific. If I want, and this is, I'm telling you, I've done this many times. While everyone's doing all those things that you guys put in the chat, a leader is very specific. Here's what a leader is saying. I need to get at least 10 people, not from my organization. Listen to me, because this is, this is different. This is different. Yes, 10 people in your group. But if I'm starting from scratch, I don't have that yet, right? So what do I need to do? I need, so if I'm brand new, I'm doing everything in my power to get 10 people to the international training event. Now, an RD has leverage. Don't feel bad. 
RD has leverage because they were where you were at, where you were brand new when they were brand new. So of course they have leverage. That's how it works. At some point they had to do what you're doing right now. The heavy lifting is in the very beginning. So here's what you need to do. You and your mentor need to go ham. You might not know what that means, but you can look it up, Google it, Urban Dictionary. You need to go as hard as possible at identifying between now and at the end of the month, 10 people that will physically, not register, but physically show up to the international. Now, why did I, why did I make that distinction? Because there's some people that like recognition way too much. One of my first mentors, he used to go really hard on registering people. But then when you look, go to the international, less than half of the people that were registered were actually in the section. So he put an emphasis on registering, but not on figuring out the, them, getting them there, which the whole point of registering someone is for them to show up, right? So if, if you and your mentor get really clear on creating plans for people to get to the international, helping them strategize getting there and making sure you have at least 10 people there, here's what happens. Those 10 people are gonna be fired up. They're gonna learn from the best of the best. They're gonna be excited to make something happen. And our goal is just to help you and those 10 people, so 11 people, to get three people started and focused on ETL. That's it. In the process, you're gonna reach your goals. In the process of doing it with excited people, you're gonna reach them faster. You're gonna reach them faster than someone who's trying to get a thousand points all by themselves. You're gonna pay out to your brand new people, which means they're gonna be excited and they're gonna generate, generate more, more revenue. All these things that I'm telling you are not theory. This is how I do it every single time I want to win something or hit something. It's always knowing the big picture and then why. Here's the why part. So when you're sharing the vision, you need to attach the why. Why do these 10 people need to go? Well, what's in it for them individually, short term and long term? What's in it for them, not for you? Oh, I want you to do this because I want to reach this, hit this goal and hang out with Mr. Thomas. Screw you and your goal. What does that have to do with me? No one cares. And you might be saying, ha ha, that's funny. I would never say something like that. You'd be surprised how many people will talk to their organization about some goal they want to reach that's going to help them that have nothing to do with helping their group. It's insane to me. It's just um, being human one on 101 was skipped by a lot of people. Okay, so what you want to do is figure out what's in it for your team. That would mean having to actually talk to them about what's important to them. Figure out what's in it for them, short term and long term. Help have your mentor help you to identify these things so that the why holds your team individually to the fire as well as you. Okay. And then it's a mission. It's something that's mission driven. So you want it to be, uh, you want to create a mission behind it. And this is one I didn't put in there that I, I want you guys to put in there. Enroll your family. Enroll the people around you that love you. You know, I was going for a, a big goal uh, years ago. And I knew that meant that I was going to be working a lot more hours than I traditionally worked in ACN. And so one of the first people I talked to about it was my daughter. And I enrolled my daughter in the cause. And I said, daddy is going to be working a lot more because he has a special goal on the table. And this goal, once I reach this goal, we're, we're, it's going to allow us to do a lot of things, but it's also going to allow us to do something special for you. What would you want to do? And she wanted to go to Disneyland during the Halloween because in, on Halloween time, Disneyland, all the villains take over. It's really cool. So you have 
Jack Skellington, you got everyone taking over the, the park. So I said, okay, we're gonna go to Disneyland and you're gonna be able to take your best friend, Faith, right? She got all excited. I said, we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna stay there for a week or so, we're gonna have fun. So that's what we did. But because I enrolled her, instead of her feeling sad about daddy working more, here's what happened. When I would be resting or not working, she would say, daddy, aren't you supposed to be working? We're supposed to go to Disneyland. So she was cheering me on. It's perspective. See, a lot of times you'll hear people say, well, my family doesn't support me. No, you don't communicate well. So you're expecting to just support you because you're doing a thing and you haven't even communicated or enrolled them in the thing where they're going to get something in it for them too. And you wonder why everyone's at your neck. It's because you need to be smart and enroll your family in it so that they have something that's in it for them as we get to the goal together as a family. That's including your spouse. So you want to you want to start thinking in those terms so everyone's cheering you on versus being the resistance that's slowing you down, okay? And then it's time to execute. We know the goal is a thousand points, but now what we need to know, now what we need to do is figure out what we need to do on a daily basis. Production is important. But as you, as you share the business and expose, you know the agenda is to get everyone that likes it, whether they sign up officially or not, registered and in attendance in Fort Lauderdale. And if you go insane about making that the mission, and as you show up to Fort Lauderdale, you have the plan on setting up their PBZs, doing everything in the details that would lead to them getting three or four or five new business partners in each one of their teams, which will lead to identifying three people that wanna run the executive team leader, you'll find yourself on the other side of a thousand points and it will feel like you did it with way less effort than anyone else that just runs out there, gets excited and starts trying to do the thing without a plan. So I wanted to give you that for our series. This, this, this month is gonna be all about big picture, but I wanted you to see why when, 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 when leaders are speaking big picture, it's because they saw it, they reverse engineered it, they know what needs to happen to execute it, and they'll get people excited because of what's in it for them. They'll enroll their family in the mission, and then they'll know what they need to do day to day to get the results. And they also know how to add fuel to the fire, accelerate it. And that's what I shared with you to do. Even if you're brand new, you can do this by utilizing the international training in Fort Lauderdale because it will advance your business by giving your, your, your new people 100% belief, they'll be able to do things that they couldn't even with 1% doubt. So with that being said, Mr. Thomas, I wanna turn the call back over to you, sir.